Right guys, I put my detective hat on and I think I've worked out what's happened. So I looked in the back of here, uh, under a bit of a magnifying glass in a slightly better light uh, than I was outside earlier and see, and I've, and I've seen there's nothing in there so the screw hasn't broke, it's uh, fortunately still here and it is the length it should be, 6 mils. And I've seen this bit here, this can, this little connection here is uh, completely snapped as well. Now the thing that makes me really sure of what happened is I've pulled this blade grip and it's loose as hell because I started to take off the other one I mean the other screw from inside and there's just no resistance it's loose as hell so if you don't know I got this second hand uh, but barely used by someone who certainly says he's built quite a few helicopters before you know everyone makes mistakes so I think he just didn't lock tight the screws in or didn't do it properly at least and then as this screw came out um, this is vibrating which is why it started making that vibrating noise and then as it was vibrating it's putting pressure on this so it came out and just ripped this off uh, which is when you hear that kind of pop noise and then it flew off um, eventually this one would have happened as well but obviously we uh, we had loss of tail rotor effectiveness. I hit a throttle hold, came down hard. Fortunately, it's a pretty tough heli, so not much damage was done overall. Still need to have a complete look over everything else as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's it really. So I need to at least get one of these links, double check over everything else, and hopefully that should be it.